Washington DC is a tiny state. This is going to be a very short video. Hi, my name is Daniela and welcome to the video. This is the quarterly, yes, quarterly reading around the world video. And I'm slightly embarrassed to do this because I didn't really read that much around the world, like as much as I would have wanted to, but this is fine. Like I have to do this because it's very good. It keeps me accountable and I need to be accountable. This time I only have three books to talk about, which isn't a lot. I've read quite a bit this year, but only three books from countries around the world. Also, these are countries that I haven't been to previously. So from authors I haven't read from authors from countries that I haven't read before. Um, so yeah, only three new countries, well, two new countries and one American state because USA is quite large. So I said that for USA, I would read for each state. So that adds a bit to the challenge. I also have my little world map. Let me show it to you. Ta-da! And I've marked off three other countries. Can you see that? And yeah, it's 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 a very slow progress, but it is progress nonetheless. So I should be proud about myself for it. So good job me. Um, but yeah, let's get into them and I will do this chronologically. The first book I read was from Germany. This is Young Poets of Germany. It's a collection of poems from different authors just gathered in one book and um, I gave this two stars. I really wanted to love this. I really, really did, but I struggled to find a poem that I actually enjoyed from this book, like struggled. Also, it's worth mentioning, this is a UNESCO collection of representative works and all of these are by authors who were in the GDR. Uh, so, so born between 1952 and 1962. So, I don't know. I, I expected more from it. I wanted to love it, but it just, it wasn't it. I'm sorry, but Germany was a bit disappointing with this book. So I, I do want to give the country another try and find something else. There are a lot of books by German authors I do want to read. So maybe they will redeem it but this book it wasn't it but this was germany next we have norway so this was two eggs on my plate by Olaf Reed olsen um this was also the mystery book for february as you can see um and i really enjoyed it i did give it a three star but this is the real life story of a norwegian soldier that had to fight in World War II. So me disliking it is a matter of my personal preferences as old books. But for this one, it's just like war books don't really interest me. And it's, there is so much description in here. There are so many names and quite complicated Scandinavian names, um, at least for me to pronounce. And it's just there's so many people to remember that at one point you just didn't. Um, but I love the narration, the way the author told the story, the real life story. And it's just, it was a feel good book. If you can say that, um, it does have a few pictures. Let me find them, um, with the actual author. You can see here. Also, my book is in a deplorable condition, um, as most of my books. And if you're new here. Uh, last year, I went on a book buying spree um, in a like online secondhand bookstore where the books were dirt cheap. So I only had the cover and the price to go by and the author. So I could Google it, but I wasn't going to do that. So I bought a ton of books. So yeah, this is a secondhand book. So this is why it looks like this. But it was something new and I did enjoy it again. For books that I give, an, mm, well, I did give this a three star, but for books that I give 
under 3.5, I do want to read from that country again. But this was a nice entree to the country, if you will. So this was Two Eggs on My Plate by Olaf Reed Olsen. The next book and the last one, because this is going to be a very short video. Uh, this is The Golden Child by George C. Chesbro, based on the screenplay by Dennis Feldman. And this is not a country. This is a state in the USA. This is Washington, D.C. Um, so, yeah, I, it was a nice book. I gave this a four star. Um, I did enjoy it. It did feel a bit choppy in some parts because this was written based on a screenplay. And there are parts in the book where you can tell that, like, there's something missing. But um, overall, I like the action, some of it was unnecessary um but i did enjoy this especially since i do like uh police books and like tv shows and all that so um this was quite interesting at least for me um so yeah this was washington dc another state in the usa that i did not go yet so it was nice to tick it off even though and kind of frustrates me washington dc is a tiny state i it's, it's so tiny, like for countries that are small, it's like I read a whole book and it's only that thing in the map because it's tiny. And then when I read China, it was the entire country. So that's a big chunk of the thing. So that's the thing about maps It's like, ah, uh, and I'm a very visual person. I want to see the achievement. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have ADD undiagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I have it. And like i need the visual representation and washington dc is so small so small but anyway yeah this was the book for usa washington dc so these were the three books it's not a very long video i just get, wanted to give you an update and update myself and also i do want to explain why i didn't read that diversified or at least as diversified as i wanted to it's because like i said before last year i went on a secondhand book buying spree and i bought the books based on their cover and the price that's it i didn't google them i didn't do anything so the majority of the books that i bought are by american or british authors so there isn't much diversity and that's on me but i also you know, I want to sprinkle that diversity everywhere, um, especially with secondhand books. I feel like there are so many books to go through that just chasing something doesn't make a lot of sense. So I really, really, really want to enjoy the reading process. And so far, I am loving it. This year, I read so much and I'm just I'm having such a blast. And this account is keeping me so accountable. So. Thank you for everyone who's watching this. You genuinely make me so happy and it's just like so excited. Um, but yeah, those are my reasons um, if you'd call them that. And this was a very short video, but again, just, just an update just to tell you around the world. The next video that I'm going to do it um, about the world map will be like September maybe. So look out for that. And did you read anything around the world? Like, do you have a goal to read from a specific country or a specific author? And if you do have recommendations for any country, because honestly, so far I've read 23 books that are in the list, but also a lot of them are from states in the US. So if you have books from specific countries, please recommend them to me. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely need new ideas to just look through and see like this year I'm on a book buying ban and it's May and it's going fantastic. I haven't bought one book this year, which good job me. Um, but from next year, I'm going crazy. So please leave all your recommendations. So thank you for watching. Genuinely appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.